Well, hey guys, I am back with a grocery haul for you. This is a two week grocery haul. I still have one more stop to go. It is Costco. We just need a couple things there some milk, some eggs, butter, bread, and pink Himalayan sea salt. Other than that, I think I've got everything that I need um, except cottage cheese. I'll probably need that too. I'm kind of loose on a menu plan this week. I don't really have one, which is terrible. But um, I'm going to flip you around and show you what I got. Okay, so starting over here, we got some sugar-free strawberry jam. I love to use this for the kids. Um, some Parmesan cheese. Um, I am planning on doing a Trim Healthy Mama taco soup. That is probably the only thing on my menu that I am sure of. And it needed Rotel style tomatoes. And in Canada, I can't get a can that says Rotel, so it's just guess and by golly. So I got these chili ones. And then um, this kind with um, geez, <laughs> onions and green peppers and celery because the recipe calls for that. So I thought I would just do it with that. Um, my tomato sauce of choice is, was on sale, three for five dollars, so I picked up obviously three cans, and it's sugar free, which is really great. I got some hamburger style dill pickles, some Knox gelatin, I am planning to get some grass fed beef gelatin, but I needed some for the soup, and this will do in a pinch. I picked up some healthy harvest multigrain um, pasta for a pasta salad some baking soda and large flake oats, some cream cheese, egg whites, and then some frozen vegetables. I got a broccoli and then two cauliflowers. And um, our grocery store had these um, boxes of like chicken tenders and chicken fries and chicken nuggets all on sale. They're normally around $10 and they were $4.97 a box. So I picked up four. These are <laughs> really good for when Shane is out of town or it's just me by myself with the kiddos. This is a really easy dinner and I'll know that they will eat it. A lot of times they're very picky and they'll eat like one thing on their plate. So um, while they're not the most healthiest thing, it is something that will last us for a couple months and it is, you know, a really easy, easy, easy meal. I got some uh, ham, Black Forest ham deli meat. And then if you're a trim healthy mama, these oven baked Tostito scoops are on plan. They are considered an E and you just want to eat a serving size. So I got two bags of these. These were $3.99 each, so kind of not really within my budget, but um, this is a really, really, really great snack. <laughs> Um, and then I picked up some Zevia. They didn't have cola, which is the kind I usually get. So I thought I would try the root beer. I have high hopes that this will be good. I've heard it's good. I really love the cola. So I'm going to give that a go. Some sugar-free ketchup and some dry roasted peanuts. I love having these on hand because they are a really good snack for when dinner is coming. Like I'm making dinner. It's around 4 o'clock. I'm getting really hungry, but dinner is until an hour. A handful or two of these really just tides me over for that hour until dinner. So then I needed some um, plastic bags and things. So I got these uh, medium freezer bags. I think they're freezer bags. Yeah, medium freezer bags. And these were all $1.99. Um, and then they had this fruit and veggie one. So these are, this bag's, oh my goodness. <laughs> These bags are actually vented, um, so it's good for your produce to sort of breathe. So um, I picked up those and give, thought I'd give them a try. They were $1.99. I thought, you know what, we'll see how they go. Um, I needed aluminum foil. And then I got some plastic forks and plastic spoons. We are coming up on, you know, camp time, picnic time, um, eat outside time. And I these were... Um, Two for a dollar forty-four, which is a better price than I can even get at my Dollar Tree here in Canada. Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five, um, and so this was a really great deal that I decided to get. We have like a bonfire pit and stuff, so um, this summer we hope to just be out there a lot, and these will be coming really handy. And then I needed um, large freezer bags. So then I picked up some um, unsweetened uh, applesauce for the kids. This is Appleberry 
And then this one is Apple Peach Mango. These are really great for Aubrey's lunch as well. And Colt could eat applesauce till the cows come home. And then crackers were on sale. I always like to have crackers in the house. The kids love them. Um, so I got Triscuits. And then these are Colt's favorite, the Mini Ritz sandwiches, the cheese kind. We got two boxes of cereal, Honey Nut Cheerios, and then Kix. I was a Kix kid growing up. Um, I didn't really ever eat the berry kind, just the regular, like, Kix. And I haven't seen Kix in years and years and years, and it's probably because I'm in Canada, and, you know, Kix isn't, I, I don't know, I haven't really seen it sold here. So, anyways, I, I just had to get it. Um, and then I got some granola bars. These are for Shane. These are the Oat and Honey Nature Valley ones. And then um, some chewy, what, oh, I can't read the French, <laughs> chewy banana chocolate chip, and s'mores, and raspberry crumble. So the way that I deal with granola bars is um, I really just try and use these very sparingly. Um, again, these will last us for two weeks, perhaps even longer, because with the kids, I like to give them as a dessert or... Um, Aubrey will get maybe get one in her lunch a couple times a week. I'm really trying to steer us away from a lot of added sugar, and while there is, you know, there's sugar in some in in some of these things here, um, I'm doing my best to just try and and get it out of my kids' diet as much as possible, keeping in mind that they are still kids and you know they still like this stuff. So um, if we can do it in a sparing sort of way, that is what we do, and that is that. So popcorn, we are big popcorn fans here. In fact, last night I went to make popcorn, poured the oil into the pan, and we were out of popcorn. So um, I picked that up. And then some pizza yeast. I really find that this makes a difference when you're making pizza dough um, using pizza yeast as opposed to just traditional yeast. It, I find it makes a really, um, I, I don't know, the crust kind of like peels apart and it's oh, so delicious. So, let me take you over to all of the produce. Um, oh, so this is actually the bread that we are getting at Costco now. If you are in Trim Healthy Mama, this is a plan-approved bread, of course, in an E setting. Um, it is the Silver Hills Sprouted, yeah, Silver Hills Sprouted Organic Whole Grain Bread. There, um, it says 20 grain train. It is so stinking good. There are so many... I'll pull out a piece for you. How about that? <laughs> there are so many seeds and all kinds of deliciousness in this. I mean, like whole pumpkin seeds and everything. It like, it's so, so good. So anyways, if you're in Trim Healthy Mama, you can get that really at a good price at, um, at Costco. You can still find it in regular grocery stores, usually in the freezer section. But at Costco, it's just with the, with the regular bread. So I got this little watermelon half for $1.91. Um, this will probably be, I'm thinking, for the kids uh, for dinner, with, with their dinner tonight. And then, oh, <laughs> this apple is a beautiful Honeycrisp apple. I saw it at the grocery store. The display was beautiful. They were $5 a pound. And I thought, gosh, I could just get one apple and surely it's not going to be that pricey. No, I was completely wrong. This apple was over $2. $2! So I am thoroughly going to enjoy this with my lunch today. <laughs> um, and then I got strawberries. I got three packs of strawberries. I actually still have one in the fridge. For me, strawberries are such a treat. On Trim Healthy Mama, um, when you are eating an S meal, which is a satisfying meal with um, lots of good fats, the only fruit that you can have are berries. So strawberries, blueberries, black blackberries, raspberries. Um, you can even have uh, cranberries, like not dried, but just fresh cranberries. And so I sort of had said to myself, I, you know, I hem and haw around whether to I'm always trying to buy things inexpensively, and sometimes I think, oh, well, those are way too too expensive. I can't get them, and then I'm missing out during the week because I don't have berries to go with some of my meals. So I decided 
a while ago that I was just going to forget the price. I would get them the best price that I could, and I would buy myself a container. And even if it was just for me, the kids have their granola bars, Shane has his treats, these are my treats. And of course, my family will eat these as well, but um, I just, I had to give myself permission to say, hey, it's okay. So anyways, these were really on sale. They were $1.99, so I picked up three. Um, and blueberries were two for five dollars. So I got two of those. And then blackberries were three for four dollars. And I forgot I'd seen them on sale. I did two different stores. Um, and I picked another one up at a different store. Um, grape tomatoes, some green onions, a English cucumber for sweet potatoes, a red onion for a Greek salad that I'm hoping to make, bananas, and then three containers of mushrooms. These were on sale for, I think, three for four dollars or something like that, I think. Um, anyways, I love these as a side, so I will saute them up and they will be delicious. So that is my grocery haul. I think my total... My total at the first grocery store was um, roughly like 111, and at the next grocery store it was like I don't know 30 bucks I think. So that will be it for our two-week grocery haul. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.